Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's been a really long time that I haven't made any videos on YouTube. I had a lot of workload and a lot of family stuff going on. So I didn't really have the time to make a lot of videos. As you guys might already know, I use a three part dosing system and I don't have any more supplements left. So I had to mix up my new batch uh, of the supplements so i thought let me make a video of it and let me share it with you guys how i mix up my own uh, solutions so as you might know this is based on the classical bailing system the first part is i guess the bicarbonate and the carbonate uh, it's the sodium bicarbonate and sodium carbonate uh, powders the second one is the calcium uh, chloride and the third one is the classical, you know, uh, the salt without the sodium chloride in it. I'm not going to go into much of the details about the three-part dosing system. There are a lot of videos on YouTube uh, which explain this very well. Quite frankly, better than what I can ever imagine doing. I actually mix up my three-part three -part dosing system quite differently because some guys might go with uh, sodium carbonate or the sodium bicarbonate as the first part in the three-part series you know one of the biggest advantages of the bicarbonate sodium solution is that it mixes up really well but some guys also use the sodium carbonate powder uh, it has an added advantage that it increases the pH of uh, your system and adds up more buffering to your aquarium. The second part is the calcium chloride powder. And I actually forgot the third part. Let me do, go and grab it. And so the third part is the sodium chloride free salt powder. This is the one. And I'm using a local French manufacturer uh, you can maybe find some BRS stuff in, in the US, but in France, the Zoanthus, uh, it's called Zoanthus <laughs> uh, manufacturer, they are quite well known here and well reputed. So I use the system and I've been using it for around five to six years now. And this is, these are some really good products. So if you're anywhere in Europe, I do recommend these products. Apart from the three part solutions, I do add the minor elements uh, into these three solutions. So my setup is quite uh, simple, you know. I do have a kitchen scale to measure up the powder. I have three bottles, containers to mix up the three solutions. I have uh, made it a thing that I don't want to mix up these three solutions before. What I used to do before was I used to clean up uh, one single container every time I used to change the solution and it was quite difficult to do that so I thought I should just keep the three systems I never clean it I just have one container for one solution and the second uh, equipment that you will need is a magnetic stirrer you can find some cheap stuff on Aliexpress or uh, any of those Chinese websites works really well and it's a really handy equipment to have uh, to make your own three-part solutions so as i said before uh, the first part can be either the sodium carbonate or the sodium bicarbonate the advantage of sodium bicarbonate is that it really mixes up very well and it doesn't have a real impact on the ph of your system it do increases your alkalinity of your system so that's one of the advantages of uh, bicarbonate uh, instead of the sodium bicarbonate there is a solution uh, there is one more solution uh, you can use the sodium carbonate uh, this has a higher ph value and it's more concentrated one of the advantages of uh, the carbonate system is that you can have a triple solution triple concentration so you can have three times more concentration than what you could have with the sodium bicarbonate uh, solution so the first thing I do is uh, I make up one and a half liters of uh, RODI water in these three containers. I make a batch of one and a half liters because it lasts me around a month uh, for my aquarium. So uh, it's sufficient for me. But if you have a higher consumption, 
uh, you can maybe mix up more quantity of this solution every time and one more thing i forgot to say is that i do have a magnetic uh, spinner uh, for each of these containers it's one of the thing i have uh, learned uh, with experience is that like before uh, what I used to do is I used to use the same spinner for the three solutions and I had to wash it up every time uh, I used to put it in uh, other solutions. So I just bought a pack of uh, magnetic stirrers and I just keep it in this solution and I never clean it. Need to make the life easier, right? That's what works in the long term. So let's start doing this. I'll go grab, uh, I'll go take one and a half liters for each of these containers and I'll be back in a second. So, like magic, I have my one and a half liters of RODI water in each of these containers. So, like I said before, I do have quite a particular way of mix mixing my uh, bailing solutions. What I do is, instead of just taking the sodium carbonate or the sodium bicarbonate, I make a mix of these two. I take around 80% of uh, sodium bicarbonate and 20% of sodium carbonate. Uh, that's uh, what I have noticed works well for my aquarium. You can either go with sodium carbonate or sodium bicarbonate or you can try to mix it up. Depends on uh, your aquarium and your style of reefing. So what I recommend is you can try to mix it up, uh, try it on your aquariums and find out which one works well for your aquarium. So according to the instructions, I need to put around 84 grams of sodium bicarbonate in one liter of RODI water. And for the sodium carbonate, I need around 265 grams for five liters. So I need to calculate that for one and a half liters. I'll put it on the screen uh, of how much grams I need to add for one and a half liters. Turns out, uh, I just did the calculations. I need around 100 grams of uh, sodium carbonate for one and a half liters of RODI water, and I'll be just using 20% of that. So 20% of 100 grams is 20 grams. So I'll be adding 20 grams of sodium carbonate. And as the sodium bicarbonate needs around 84 grams for one liter, it's around 120 grams for one and a half liters and 80% of 120 grams is around 85 grams. So what I'll be doing is for the first solution, I'll be adding 85 grams of sodium bicarbonate and 20 grams of sodium carbonate. So I'm ready for the first solution. We just need to mix it up. As you can see, the magnetic stirrer is a wonderful equipment to stir up these solutions. You need to go really slowly here because sometimes what might happen is your magnetic stirrer can move around and you can lose the synchronization with the stirrer. So you can put this powder really slowly. Let's give some time to this. Uh, it takes around five minutes to settle down and mix up really well. And what I do in this point of time is I'll add the, I guess if I'm not mistaken, the elements three of the Xanthus system uh, goes into this solution. So I need to add around eight milliliters of the third solution uh, into the sodium bicarbonate and the sodium carbonate solution.
I know the I know that these cups uh, make around four milliliters, so I I'll add around two cups of this, two caps of this. I'm sorry. And that's it. I'll just wait for some time, and the first solution is done. So it's been five minutes now and the first solution is ready. So let me put this aside and prepare the second solution. The second solution has a bit of orange tint to this because it has some residual iron supplements which I had in the last batch. So it doesn't matter. So for the calcium chloride, I need around 71 grams for one liter. So it's around 100 grams for one and a half liters. So I'll measure out 100 grams of calcium chloride. and put it into the solution. So for the second solution for the calcium chloride, I'll add the bottle number one and two. So two caps of each. getting cloudy here so I hope it doesn't rain normally right oh, I guess I forgot to speak about this the three bottles I have uh, are the minor elements the bottle number one contains strontium and barium bottle two has heavy metals apparently I have no idea what this has and the third bottle has the iodine and fluorine So the second solution is all done. Uh, let me put this aside and prepare the third solution. For the third solution, uh, I need around 24 grams for one liter. So it's around 30 grams for one and a half liters. mix this up so as you can see the process is really simple I just takes around 10 to 15 minutes uh, for me and I really prefer this method because I don't like to buy already mixed up solutions which are which is you're basically paying for the water to be transported right so I like to buy powders it's more ecological and green stuff uh, so yeah I guess uh, I'll stop stirring this now and uh, let's go and put it into my beakers uh, near the aquarium
so i hope you guys like uh, the video i just wanted to restart making uh, youtube videos so this was uh, quite a smaller video uh, i hope uh, making much more videos uh, in the future and until next time see you bye bye